Peace. All praise and glory to the Supreme Spirit of Truth, the Living One, the always existing, always perpetual, the all you can see and cannot see, the visible and invisible, the One. Give glory and praise to the Supreme One. He is worthy of all praise. Truly, he is. You know, I put questions to Christians. And you can ask them a question and they give you the silliest ass answer that you could ever imagine. And I've always wondered here. Matthew 21, 20. And we're talking about the barren fig tree. So this is something I've always found kind of odd. Seeing a fig tree by the road, he went up to it, but found nothing on it except leaves. May you never bear fruit again, Jesus says. And immediately the tree withered. When the disciples saw this, they marveled and asked, How did the fig tree wither so quickly? Truly, I tell you, Jesus replied, if you have faith and do not doubt, not only will you do what was done to the fig tree, but even you say to, the, but even if you say to the mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. So what I find, Jesus is hungry at this point in time, right? And he's the supreme spirit. And rather than having the fruit tree bloom fruit he curses the tree Jesus curses a tree because there's only leaves on it but the tree withers up I always found that kind of odd here at Matthew 8.10 the faith of the centurion okay for I myself am a man under authority with soldiers under me, I tell one to go, and he goes, and another to come, and he comes. I tell my servants to do something, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he marveled and said to those following him, Truly I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. So, um, right here, Jesus is talking about Israel. He's not talking about the... Uh, Gentile nations, is he? As you can clearly see, the adopted name of Jacob, including his descendants. So whenever you're talking about Israel, we are talking about Jacob. Right? Not the Gentile nations. It's important for you to understand. Precept upon precept, line upon line, Luke 7, 9. When Jesus heard this, he marveled at the centurion, turning to the crowd following him. He said, I tell you, not even in Israel, again, have I found such great faith. <clears throat> so, this is confirming uh, parable upon parable, right? Also, a lot of times they say these in the parable for repetition, to for it to sink inside of your head. It's called indoctrination. So this is why all of the prophets, why they have you reading the Bible and the prophets are all tell, pretty much telling you the same thing. Let's pop over here to Luke. So if you worship me, it will be yours. The temptations of Jesus. This is a uh, saint in trying to tempt, tempt Jesus, but Jesus answered, It is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil led him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down from here. So the point here being is that Jesus says it is written. Where is it written? Whenever Jesus is talking about something being written, what's he talking about? He's talking about the Old Testament. Okay. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Well, where does Jesus say this? Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. It says it here. Deuteronomy 6.13 Fear the Lord your God and serve him only. 
and take your oaths in his presence. Okay? We don't know God's name. Remember, you're born into this plane of existence with the memory wipe. And all you know is what others have been teaching us all our lives. Okay? There are individuals on this plane of existence that are of God. They walk with God. They don't transgress his laws. They follow his laws. They do the best that they can to walk, walk a righteous life. But then two-thirds of them, it said, and I understand today now why. Because God's children have rebelled. And those that I believe that are in power of God's children are the ones that sold you into slavery. as your very own people. Clearly, about of the Bible, the God of this Bible is condoning slavery and telling you that it's okay. I just don't understand that concept. Well, I understand it today that that you're you and I'm me, and this is how exactly how Satan feels. Satan feels like he's he's God. He feels like he's separate of God, and that he's the one that's running the show. He's been the one that's been given power. He was the one that was subcontracted out. To create this material world. I know it sounds mad. Would I be condemned from the spirit of God. For saying that Satan created this plane of existence. And that the supreme self-existing eternal creator. Outside of this plane of existence. Doesn't have anything to do with the material world. That something was given power to create this material world. And that that's what the battle is for. The soul is born into this plane of existence, which teaches us good from evil. Okay? It's just the way it is. So, uh, these two parables, this is what I'm trying to teach you. This is in the Old Testament, and then this is in the New Testament. And this is how you read the Bible, is line upon line. If it confirms, if Jesus is confirming... Okay, right here, Jesus is confirming that something is written, and it's written in the law. That's the five books of Moses. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. And remember, folks, that Jesus is sent to the Israel, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This, this would be like Yeshua. Yeshua answered, is it written? Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. This isn't Jesus. This Jesus is a translation from the Hebrew dialect, Yehos, or Iesos. This one with the J would be Hesos, almost like uh, um, Esos, um, or Isus, more like Isus. So, remember, we're born into this plane of existence with a complete memory wipe, Okay. The only time that you're connected to the God brain is when you're a child. You're still a very infant child, a baby. Okay? People ask why God would allow these heinous crimes to happen to children and women and children and, and civilian populations that were being told be bombed by Hamas or bombed by Israel. You know, it takes two to tangle. That's what, you know, it doesn't matter what you how you try selling what's going on okay they're the ones that are all in this together okay so you have to pay attention to what what is being said so with all that i wanted to roll into revelations 19 13 and talk about how his clothes now this is jesus was closed in a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of god again we all know here at this channel that the word of god represents jesus jesus is the word of god but jesus is the is the brain jesus christ crucified is the brain uh yeshua would be more of a spirit Okay, and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. What am I concerned with more than anything here is <clears throat> he's wearing he's wearing something, folks, a vesture that's been dipped in blood. Does that doesn't sound off to you? That doesn't sound a little bit crazy. 
I mean, come on, man. If I, if I was to slay a freaking bull, pour all of its blood inside of a bull, and then dip my, my clothing inside of that, and then walk around in this clothing, and that's that doesn't sound off to you? Okay, now, a lot of stories will tell you that Jesus is, that his clothes is dipped in blood because of the battle that's taking place with all the people that he plans on slaughtering when he comes back. Right here, Jesus has returned, this time as a conquering king and the unquestionable Lord of Lords of this plane of existence, okay? Remember, Satan is always trying to steal the glory of the supreme presence of the Almighty One, okay? And he will divide and divide, and yes, Satan does divide his own kingdom up against one another. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? He has to divide the kingdoms up against one another because he loves death. And destruction. If you don't divide the kingdom, then you have no death and destruction. And this is what God is wanting us to do is be all one. All of us one. In praise and glory of life that was given to us. This this opportunity, this period, this probation period that has been set upon us. This learning curveball that's been thrown upon us. You, you, you got to understand Everything that you're being taught on this plane of existence is mostly of Satan. Everything you see on television is Satan. All of the Snapchats, all of the TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, all these sites that put these women up, they're shaking their asses and all that. It's, it's just everywhere. You can't get away from it. <clears throat> There's sin everywhere. It's deep. Okay, so... Jesus' robe is dipped in blood. This is not a reference to the blood he shed on the cross for our sins. Rather, given the military context of this vision, it is the blood of his enemies. Jesus' enemies, like me. I am an enemy to Jesus. I don't denounce Jesus the prophet, the one that was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I denounce this one here. Right here, man. I denounce this Jesus Christ as God. I denounce a man who has had these, look at these spikes. Look at how large they are, man. Look how huge that thing is. And there's just no way that this would have happened here. They would have had his arms tied up, right up high on the tree here because his hands would have tore through. That would have been excruciating pain. But this, you know, diaper boy, Diaper boy Jesus, okay? There's a difference between Yeshua and Jesus, okay? Yeshua was sent to the lost sheep. This one here is the God of the world. So God loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whoever believed in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John three sixteen. okay? I got a question to ask you here. Looking at these spikes in, the, in his feet, what does it say here? Hold on, give me a second. Okay, so we're told here that from many are the afflictions of the righteous. And the Lord delivers him from them all, delivers Jesus. The Lord delivers them from, delivers Jesus from them all. So this would be a gateway to Jesus as well. Evil will slay the wicked, but he protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. So the Lord here, the supreme, self-existing, eternal spirit is going to protect all of Jesus' bones. How could those bones be protected? How could those bones not be broken with these railroad spikes driven through his feet? Are you kidding me? Not only that, man, if Jesus was standing in front of Mary and them coming out of the tomb and this had happened, he wouldn't have been talking with Mary like a casual conversation. He would have been crawling to her, begging her for help to get him out of sight so that the Romans couldn't find his ass again. Oh, we didn't we didn't kill that son of a bitch? Oh, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So Jesus is is wearing this vesture that's dipped in blood. That sounds kind of vile and nasty to me. Okay? And it has nothing to do 
with the cross. This would confirm in, um, here, let's just go to it. So here Jesus is telling you, but whoever denies me before men, I deny you, Jesus, before men. I deny you, I deny you, I deny you. I will also deny him before my Father in heaven. Let me point something out for you here real quick. Well, this isn't the greatest picture of what I was looking for. Give me a second. Right here, what I'm trying to make a point here is that there's different heavens. Okay? I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven. So we have three different heavens. What are they? Uh, the heaven is the very earth that we walk on, this plane of existence. It is the lowest heaven. And then you have the heavens in the sky underneath of the firmament where the fowl of the air cover. And then you have the heaven above, all, the mighty high place. So that is uh, your three bodies of heaven. So when it shows you this right here, the earth that we live on right here, this plane of existence here, this is a heaven, the ground heaven, the strat um, the troposphere, so I believe what they call it. And then you have what's here. This is what you'd call the stratosphere. And this is the second heaven. And then this is the heavens outside of the firmament. So do we live underneath of a firmament? I, I absolutely know we do. And they've been telling us in movies for some time now. Watch. Boom. There you go. You see, Hollywood Hollywood isn't playing games. Give me a second. Didn't you know that I was off that far? Wow. <laughs> I had to go and eat in the middle of the stream. It kind of... I'm like doing my show here, man. And my stomach said, you know what? I hadn't eaten all morning. So, when, it's kind of weird, man. It's like a switch. When my stomach needs food, I can't think. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Okay, so here we are. They're telling us in Hollywood that we live underneath of a dome. All right? This isn't just make-believe stuff. It's factual, folks. Okay? Proven here as well. There you go. Well, I'm gonna run it back again. That, folks, is the dome. Now, I don't think that there is an electronical piece of equipment that is above us, but there is absolutely a physical shield up that covers our flat plane. We live on a flat plane, folks. We don't live on a spherical globe. We have this firmament that's above us, proven here. Boom, a dome. We live underneath of a dome, and outside of that dome is where the mind, the mind is where it's at. So I've been telling people we live in a simulation for a long time, that we live underneath of a dome, and you all, you all kind of laugh. Doesn't this kind of look like a snake eye right there, huh? From this piece falling, these here, sixes, everything's in sixes. Why? Because we live in a hive. Is it coincidence that the dome that they use uh, in these pieces of broken glass are six sides, huh? Do you think that, look, six sides? These pieces right there, 
Do you think that's coincidence? Or <clears throat> I keep telling people because we live in this hive. We live in a hive ourselves. It's, it's just that simple. Also, check it out. This is mocking you right here. This is also the firmament. Is a shot of the firmament also given to you with the <clears throat> one eye symbolism and 666. You guys go and look at <clears throat> album covers. There's a lot of information on al album covers that are putting the truth right in front of you. This one here, this they've got the globe right in front of you, right? But this is actually the truth about the layout of the flat earth because these are the four corners of the world where four angels sit at each corner the four corner the four winds all right so they're showing us in album covers and all of this type of information that we live in underneath of a dome this is what they're telling us these are the heavens this is the highest heaven you see, because the spirit says, says what? Here, let me show you. So here we're at Solomon's prayer and dedication. And now, O God of Israel, please confirm what you promised to your servant, my father David. But will God indeed dwell upon the earth? Even heaven, the highest heaven, cannot contain you, much less this temple I have built. So the heavens of heavens of heavens cannot contain the supreme, always in motion, perpetual, eternal creator. He's everything that you see and everything you cannot see. In fact, it's what you cannot see that makes up this plane of existence that we do live in, um, an imaginary world. Okay, we're going to close out with this last photo here. Truth bombs right in front of your face. Keep telling people that we live under a dome let's find a good one there you go right there right there folks right in plain sight the album covers hollywood the movies everybody is telling you straight up the truth and when it comes judgment time that's going to be the dark side's argument, he's going to say, well, I gave it to him. I put it to him right in front of plain sight. I shared the truth with them, though I shared the truth with them in a deceptive manner rather than just coming out and saying, hey, you know what? We live underneath of a dome. We do live underneath of a firmament. It's the firm mind of God, folks. So I hope you all enjoyed the lesson, man. Keep tight, walk right, and stand righteous in the in the eyes of and the mind of your supreme spirit of truth, the living God who is one. Have a great day. This is White Raptor News Ministries.